Hi, my name is Alex, and I used to be an avid Young Turks fan. But I have a challenge for all you Young Turks viewers today. And it has to do with what is arguably the biggest issue of our time today, and that is the existence of government or the state. As a former progressive or TYT fan, um, I was big on, say, civil liberties, leftist, quote-unquote leftist issues, uh, say, like, First Amendment, Fourth Amendment rights, mass surveillance, the war on drugs, the war on terror, so on and so forth, even some feminist issues, the income inequality, so on and so forth. I would have all these opinions about it. But as time went on, I was exposed to uh, libertarian ideas. I came upon th this book by a man named Murray Rothbard. It's called For a New Liberty. Completely changed the way I view everything. It just laid the state bare naked in front of me. It just showed it for what it was. It, it, you know, we love to see the state as sort of a group of people that's exempt from the laws that we are subject to or that are imposed on us. And so Rothbard uh, put it, Plainly, you know, the state is a band of aggressors that initiates force on everybody. And as, as progressives, or me as a former progressive, I would excuse that. You know, I'd be like, you know what, as long as it was in the greater good, it would be all right. You know, as long as everybody would be equal, as long as there would be no racism, no sexism, so on and so forth. You know, I would be like, you know what, who cares? You know, it's the government. They got to fix our problems. But, I mean, as the ideology was developing in my own mind, I came upon the realization which nobody can disagree with. Violence is bad, no, no, no matter who commits violence, violence is bad. Forcing somebody to do something they don't want to is bad, no matter who does it. And so, the state is viewed by us libertarians as the biggest institution, the biggest perpetrator of the aggression on people, of the, the perpetrator of violence. So, Say, libertarians, say, agree with progressives on civil liberties and so on, but the philosophy is extended to things like economics, bailout, or say, something like income inequality. A big, uh, a big uh, root of the problem of that is the government in the first place, as we can see with bailouts, and our central bank, known as the Federal Reserve, through its artificially low interest rates before the financial crisis, through its program called quantitative easing, transferring wealth, via inflation to the upper to the ruling class and uh it's socialism it's it's helping the rich and the ruling class but it's socialism nonetheless and it's the use of violence it's stealing money from the middle class and the poor from you and me to give it to the rich via government so the philosophy is basically extended to all areas of human life use of force use of violence is bad period and so the challenge i have for you today is so don't worry you don't have to read uh, Murray Rothbard's 400 page book right away, although I recommend it, definitely. But here's a book by Adam, it's called Freedom. It's short, to the point, it's condensed. I challenge you, this is the challenge, first of all, specifically. I challenge you to disagree with anything that's written in this book, with the premises that are in here. And, you know what? All we're asking is you take a look at what, uh, at what we're saying in the first place, at what Adam is saying in this book, particularly. And I promise you one thing, I can guarantee you one thing, you will never look at the state the same way again. You might keep some of your views, and even if you do change, it might take some time, it might take six months, ten years. But the point is, you will never see, I promise you, you will never see the state the same way again. Try to look at something different from before, because most of the solutions that are being proposed by so-called progressives aren't really changes to the status quo at all because in the end it's advocating for more government so yeah check the book out it's short it's to the point it won't take up much of your time i promise and i promise it will change the way you see everything and um to jank thank you for educating me thank you for making me care but i challenge you to have adam on your show for a friendly debate and see where that takes you because here's the thing whenever you advocate for government to solve a problem, you're basically advocating for the use of violence or the use of force. Because that's all government is based on. It's the use of force. It imposes its will on people, whether it's taxation or any other law it might be. So I challenge you to have Adam on for a friendly debate. And because here's the thing too. I mean, do you really think that turning to the institution that caused the problems in the first place is going to fix them for us? Wrong again, bub. Thank you.